Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got this uh, simple question that I thought I would answer today, which is about IT help desk. And uh, this question is from Adam and he says, hi John, what are your thoughts on using an IT help desk job as an entry point into the tech field for people without CS degrees? Uh, do people move from IT support or do people move from IT support to development roles? Thanks Adam. So IT help desk job, I, you know, here's the thing. I think that this, well, okay, I'll, I'll kind of zoom out here. IT help desk to developer is going to be a difficult transition. It's probably even more difficult than QA to developer. I think I did a video on, on QA to developer. If not, I am certainly going to do one. I, did, I definitely did one in, the, in a chapter in my new book that I'm, I'm writing right now about that because I think that's uh, pretty important. You can check out like the, the first post, the first chapter of that book here and sign up to get updates on, on that book. But, but here, here's the thing with, with, with that is that people tend to cast you at, at, in, a, in a type, right? Like it's like first impressions. It's very difficult for some, for you to break out of someone's mold, right? It, and you can see this. I mean, your friends and your family, especially they view you, you're they're always going to view you as the same. They're never going to view your capacity to change. You know, I've struggled with this, right? Some, some of my friends and family watch these YouTube videos and to them, I am, you know, I haven't grown at all. I'm just the, the goofy guy that, you know, they think it's silly, right? That I'm, I'm doing YouTube videos, even though I've got like 30,000 subscribers. It doesn't matter if I have a million subscribers, they're still gonna think that that way. And the same thing happens with a job, right? With coworkers, with a boss, with roles. So a lot of times, if you go into a job like an IT help desk, right? This is like, you know, when I was in acting class, I think I might've told this story before, but the my, my acting teacher, he said, do not get a job as an extra. He's like, I know you, you think you're going to get your foot in the door and the director is going to see you. you. Maybe you'll get some lines and get your SAG card and that's going to help your career. But he said, if you ever want a leading role, don't get a job as an extra. Because once you're known as an extra and you're going on, you're doing all this extra work and all of these productions and casting agents know you as an extra, they're going to assume that you're an extra. You're, you're a low level player. You're, that's a demonstration of lower value, <laughs> right? You know, some of you know what I'm, I'm talking about when, when I say that you got to demonstrate higher value. And so do, being an IT help desk person is going is, is gonna to do that. It's going to demonstrate a lower value. You want to demonstrate a higher value and, and you don't want to be typecast into that role because it's going to make it really hard for you to transition. So you could do an IT help desk position and you can start learning to be a developer, but that's probably not going to get you into a developer job at the at the place that you're at. Now, it may, this is what I would recommend. This is how I think that you can transition best. Get the IT help desk job, right? Uh, say that you want to learn development. You might as well give that shot and see if they do. Maybe you'll get someone who will take you under your wing, under their wing, and coach you through and, and help you get into a developer job. It, it happens for sure if you're in the right environment. But if you're not, then still see if you can take on some development jobs. See if you can help developers there. Anything what you're looking for is something that you can not lie and put on your resume that says that you wrote some code that you were paid to write, right, at this job. So even though your job title might be IT help desk person, maybe if you can say, well, I wrote a tool in C++ or C Sharp or Java or whatever that, that helped the, the other IT help desk people. And you could just do that yourself, right? Or I helped the development team and I wrote this code or fixed these bugs, right? Whatever you can do, volunteer your own time after work to do this just so you can get this on your resume. Then when you apply for a developer job later on at a different company, you, you might be able to, you might even be able to change your title a little bit. You might be able to say IT help desk slash developer because you did development work, right? That's that's not lying. That's that's true. You did development work and you can explain that situation if, if you need to, but you can put in the job description and you can say that you have relevant experience doing development because that's the, the catch 22 is right. It's hard to get experience without experience and without experience, you can't get experience. So if you can use this role in that manner, that's how I would do it. I wouldn't expect that it's going to you know, get you, you're probably going to get typecast and stuck in that company in that role. It's, it's not unheard of. Sometimes people do move, but this is, this is the 
that I would use. So anyway, thanks for the, the question, Adam. Hopefully that answers your question. If you have a question for me, email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. Keep it short like Adam's and you're more likely to get an answer. And uh, if you like this channel, subscribe. Oh, also, if you are interested in joining the community, we've got a whole community on Facebook. We've got, there's a lot of uh, little interesting things that you can, you can get <laughs> and support the community. Check out the Patreon page. Uh, that is going, going strong. I'd like to see uh, more people uh, there in, in the community on Facebook interacting. We, we, we already have you know, a really, really good active community, but I always like to see new faces in there. And you can get personal time with me. This is where I, you know, I live and, and I interact with. I can't interact with everyone one-on-one -on -one in, in, you know, in the big world, but in that community, uh, I definitely do. So you, you see a lot more of me and, and, uh, and I, can, I can kind of give you some coaching wherever I can. So anyway, that's it. Don't want to uh, don't want to beat that dead horse. But uh, if you like the video, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.